Today on Horseland, Zoe and Chloe do their best to ruin Bailey's friendship with the other girls. Will their dirty tricks break up the gang? He's like a brother. Feels like I'm losing him. Did you see how lost they are without their Bailey? I give up! You know what I love most about Horseland? Gotta be the food, chap. Good guess, Tini. What do you think I like best about this place, Angora? That's easy. Mwah. Yes, you're right. Really? Angora's what you like best? Best of all? And why shouldn't I be? <laughs> well, it's not just you, Angora. It's the friendships that make Horseland such a special place. Why would anyone want new friends? I mean, you two had me, and the kids have each other. They don't need anyone new. Well, Angora, it seems that's just what the girls were thinking when Jesse came along. So who's ready for Ethan Simon's birthday party this weekend? Not me. I can't believe we have to wrangle those little rugrats again this year. Those were the rowdiest kids I've ever met. Taking them for the rides was torture. Come on, girls. Don't you remember how much fun we had uh -huh. last time? Seriously. I wonder who's gonna take Ethan's little sister for a horse ride. Bailey! <laughs> ah, the return of Rebecca Simon. Whatever. I'm just glad you'll be there to help me, Sarah. You're the only one Ethan listens to. No way. Seriously, Sarah, Ethan and his little friends had the horses heading for the hills last year. If you hadn't gotten the kids started on that scavenger hunt, I might have never seen Button again. The scavenger hunt was Bailey's idea, really. I helped, but it was a team effort. Yeah, the team of Sarah and Bailey. Birthday host extraordinaire. Let's go to Hustling! Who's pulling up? I didn't know we were expecting someone new today. Wow, Ken is a chico guapo. Who's the cutie? Do you mean the horse or the guy? Oh, that's right. Mom said a new kid from Golden Corral Ranch was bringing his horse to board today. I think his name's Jesse. <laughs> Easy, buddy. It's okay, boy. Do you need some help? Oh, no thanks. But he's just a little nervous when he's not on his own turf. See, he was raised from birth at Golden Crow Ranch. He's never been anywhere else. Bye now. Thanks. I'm Sarah. This is Molly, Alma, and Bailey. I'm Jesse. Jesse Golden. Golden? Hey, do your parents own Golden Corral Ranch? Yeah, but they're remodeling the place, so we had to move out for a while. My folks are the owners here at Horseland. No way! Hey, it looks like Buddy's feeling better. <laughs> it's weird to see him so nervous. Back at Golden Crow Ranch, he was like Joe Brayforce. This one time, Buddy and I were on a trail ride with a bunch of our friends, and we came across this ginormous mountain lion. <laughs> it sounds like a ginormous Bailey story. So Buddy starts to go after it to protect everybody, so we're flying through the trees and I'm barely hanging on. Buddy chased that big cat all the way through the woods, like a mile or something. No way, dude! Something like that happened with my horse Calypso once. This one time one she... Time, huh? Huh? Tech and I came face to face with this very hmm. size of Rhode Island. I'm telling you, that animal could have used me as a squeeze toy. <laughs> I remember that, Bailey. You hey, were... where can I leave my stuff? Come on, I'll take you to the tack room. Then I can show you around. Cool. Nice meeting you. You too. Uh huh? Yeah. Um, what just happened? It looks like Bailey found a new friend. Yeah, but did you see how Bailey was acting? Yeah, Bailey wouldn't let me get a word in edgewise. And he leaves us here to deal with his horse. All right, so what's with that black palomino? What's his name? Just another nervous newbie. Ah, uh, give the guy a break. He just got here. And being in new digs can be kind of frightening, you gotta admit. 
chilled out. He's getting used to the place. I knew you would. I think he misses his pal Tux. He's this cool black and white horse from my parents' ranch. They pretty much grew up together. Kind of like my friend Corey and me. I know what you mean. Sarah, Molly, and Alma are my best friends. I got split up with my buddies, Corey, Rosie, and Maya, when Golden Crow Ranch had to shut down for the remodel. That stinks. Hey, can you make it over the higher jump? Piece of cake. <laughs> Whew, that was intense. Man, this jump reminds me of Zoom Racer Extreme 3. Zoom Racer Extreme 3? You mean that new racing video game with the crazy stunts? Prepare to zoom or meet your doom. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite game. Mine too. Man, I've got Zoom Racer Extreme 1 and 2, but I don't have 3. It's been totally sold out around here. I'll bring it for you tomorrow. All right. <laughs> you know, I think I liked it better when there was only one Bailey. Yeah, that Bailey used to hang out with us. I just read an article that said most people spend 75% of their time socializing. Looks like Bailey is spending his entire percentage on Jesse. Hey, you guys, could you do me a favor? Sure, Will, what is it? Could you clear some space in the tack room? I want to get Jesse set up in there. Great. What? It's nothing, really. What's up with you girls anyway? Bailey is sort of ignoring us today. Come on. The four of you are best friends. So Bailey's hanging out with the new kid. So what? I'm telling you, Jesse's a total babe. And he was totally looking at me this morning. Yeah, he was looking through you so he could get a good view of me. He was not. Oh, hi, girls. Hello. What's the matter, Sarah? Nothing. We're just clearing some space for Jesse. Right, Jesse, the new guy, the cute new guy. What do you want, Chloe? I don't want anything. I just noticed why you were all so upset. Is it because Bailey ditched you? He didn't ditch us. It sure looks like he did, and I am so sorry about that, really. But the truth is, they have so much in common, I mean, He's another guy, for one. How could you compete with that? Bailey didn't ditch us. He's just showing Jesse around. He's being nice, unlike some people. Call it whatever you want. I still say he ditched you. I just hope he still has time to help you with Ethan's birthday. He and Jesse seem so busy. Of course he'll help Sarah with the party. He likes doing parties. We'll see. Catch you later, girls. Don't pay any attention to them. Did you see how lost they are without their Bailey? You know, Chloe, I think Bailey and Jesse need to take a special field trip. Get some extra bonding time, if you know what I mean. I think you're absolutely right, Zoe. Hey, check this out. I've been practicing my evil laugh. Mwahahaha. <laughs> Pretty good. I mean bad, in a good way. Okay, all together now. <laughs> <laughs> This reminds me of the starting gates on Cruise Command 2. You are entering Cruise Command 2. Abandon all hope <laughs> and get in gear. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Cruise Command, get in gear. Can I help you two? We were just wondering when you were going to introduce us to your friend. Fine. Jesse, meet Chloe and Zoe. Chloe and Zoe, this is Jesse. Hi, Jesse. Uh, hi. Bailey? Chloe, we're kind of in the middle of stuff here, and... Hey, we're not here to interrupt your fun. We've just got a message for you. Your dad wants you to go to town and pick up chicken feed. Uh, the delivery guy's out sick today. That's funny. I thought I heard his truck come by this morning. Well, maybe you're hearing things, because he's home with the flu. And Bailey, he wants you to get two big bags of food. All right. I guess I'm off to get chicken feed. That's a long way, though. Man, how am I going to get two bags back here? Dude, I'll help you. One bag each. Thanks, man. 
Let's go. Tell my dad I'm off. And thanks for the message. Oh, one more thing, Bailey. Rock Hill Road is closed up by the creek. You should probably take the detour through the woods. Man, that's like an extra 30 minutes each way. <laughs> Do it for the chickens, Bailey. Yeah, whatever. Have a nice trip. A nice long trip. <laughs> <laughs> At least Bailey will be joining us for lunch. But what is he? Oh, he'll be here. That boy hasn't missed a meal in the history of Horseland. Oh, Molly, I couldn't help it over here. You know Bailey isn't coming to lunch today, right? What do you mean? Bailey and Jesse are having lunch together in town. Yeah, they said something about having lunch with no girls allowed. But who cares about Bailey, right? We're having a girls only lunch. We'll have the kids line up over here for their rides. What about Chili and Pepper? I don't want them around little kids. They're kind of unpredictable. Kids and horses both. I wish Bailey were here. We haven't talked about the party since Jesse arrived. I hope Bailey's still planning on helping me. I'm sure he's just as psyched up about the party as we are. Hey girls, what you doing? Rehearsing for Ethan's party. Cool. You ready for a party, Aztec? Where is Jesse? Riding the grounds. But he's still kind of nervous. Jesse is trying to get him used to the place. Seems like Jesse's gotten used to the place. In fact, you two have been together so much that. Yeah, Jesse's cool. I want you girls to get to know him. We want to, but you guys keep going off together. We didn't see you at all yesterday afternoon. Oh, that's because we had to go pick up the chicken feed and we had to take this mega long route. See, there was a detour on Rock Hill Road. There's no detour on Rock Hill Road. I took it yesterday and today. It's totally open. That's weird. Chloe and Zoe said it was closed. Whatever, maybe they made a mistake. Bailey, about Ethan's party. Hi, everyone. Hey, Bailey, catch. Zoom Racer Extreme 3? No way! You brought it! Thanks! Let's go check it out! I get to go first! No way, man! My game, so I go first. I give up! I can't get a word in edgewise! He's still the same old Bailey, Sarah. I don't even think he realizes you're mad. It's just like him, you know? I know, but Bailey's my only guy friend, you know? It just feels like I'm losing him. He's like a brother. You've got your sisters. Of course. Thanks, you two. Hey, Bailey. Jesse and I just found the coolest trick in this racing game. You drive through this wall, and then you go into this weird secret room where it lists all the names of the dudes who wrote the game, and you get extra points, too. How absolutely fascinating. It's awesome because it's like the hardest trick to find. But Jesse knows all these inside tips and stuff. He's one cool dude. Hey, Will, you won't believe what Jesse and I just found. Do you think this banner is too low? Nah, kids are short. This way they won't miss it. Man, I almost forgot about the birthday party. Listen up, everyone. As you know, Ethan Simon's birthday party is tomorrow. Bailey and Jesse will be coordinating the event because... What? Huh? Jesse and me? A birthday party? What do I have to do? Why me? Just listen, people. Sarah, I'm sorry I gotta pull you away from the party, but we've got a new girl coming for a tour tomorrow. Her parents specifically asked if you would take her around. But Sarah's been planning this party for weeks. Sorry, girls. It wasn't my idea. Think of it as a favor for Bailey's folks. It's fine, Will. I'm sure Bailey is very happy with the new arrangement. Poor Sarah. She misses her friendship with Bailey. Hey, Shep. Will there be cake at the birthday party? Yes, Tinny, there'll be cake. But it's gonna take more than a slice of birthday cake to make everything right again. That does it! It's bad enough in the morning, but in the middle of the day, Rooster has crowed for the last time ever! Meow! 
Wait, Ankara. <laughs> it's a bummer, Sarah. Why does that girl have to have her tour of Horseland at the same time as Ethan's party? But Bailey doesn't even care. Why should he? Now he gets to work with Jesse instead of me. Don't be so sure. Sarah, I'm so sorry. Let's talk to Bailey's folks. Maybe I can give the tour. You should be heading up that birthday party, not me. No, it's all right. You don't know the place, and besides, they asked for me. Anyway, I know Bailey would be happier working with you. I don't know about that, Sarah. Hey, Sarah. I'll let you two talk. I don't know what happened here. <sighs> Aren't you glad you're going to get to work with Jesse now? Look, Sarah, Jesse's great. But he's not like my old friends. Right. He's a boy and we're not. He likes video games with fast cars and log jams and we don't. I hate to say it, Bailey, but I kind of feel that way too. Yo tambien. It's hard to compete with Jesse. Oh, you girls. Jesse's not better than you. He's just a different kind of friend. Yeah, Jesse and I like the same video games and stuff. But with you, I share other things. Like how we love Horseland. We have a history together. I would never desert you. You're stuck with me, okay? Okay! Yeah. What about you, Sarah? <laughs> Come back here, you feather thing! <laughs> Molly, you and Alma help me quiet the horses. <laughs> Listen to all that uproar you caused, Angora. What do you think you were doing? Having fun. Is everything okay? Don't worry, it's all under control. Sarah, Molly, and Alma saved the day. With a little help from the Foam Meister here. Bailey's the name and foam busting's my game. Good work, everyone. Listen, Ethan's mom just called. There are more kids coming to this party than they thought. So we're gonna need everyone's help. Sarah, we postponed the tour. Would you mind taking charge of the party with Bailey again? You okay with that, Jesse? You bet I am, Sarah. But we're still gonna need your help, Jesse. As long as I don't have to run things, I'm in. We'll let you take care of Rebecca Simon. She'll run you. <laughs> Let's go to Horseland! Is everybody ready? How many kids are coming? Oh, about 600,000. 600,000? That's a long line of kids to ride. <laughs> Aztec, you got me again. That's three times in five minutes, buddy. Don't worry, you'll get yours, Aztec. I overheard Bailey talking, and it looks like little Ethan, the birthday boy, wants to ride you. Huh? Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> Bailey, I heard little Rebecca Simon has been primping all morning. She just can't wait to see you again. Oh, is this the little girl who has a crush on him? What's it like to be a teen idol, Bailey? It stinks. But Rebecca hasn't met you yet, Jesse. You might have some competition, Bailey. Well, I was voted best looking at Golden Corral Ranch. Aww. What? It's true. Of course, my mom was the only judge. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here they come. Man, look how many of them there are. It's like an invading army. We're gonna need all the help we can get. I'm glad you're here, Jesse. So am I. Oh, goody, goody, goody! Can you believe it? Everyone's friends again. What a relief. Things were a mess. I was getting worried. I knew the kids would come around and realize you can make new friends without giving up your own ones. Uh-oh! Kid alive! Well, the party's finally over. I think it was a success. The kids seemed happy. I'm just happy they're gone. 
It was nice to see Sarah and Jesse getting along. I'm so glad the girls are feeling better about Bailey's friendship with Jesse. I still don't get it. What were they so worried about anyway? Sarah and the girls were worried that Bailey liked Jesse better than them. They thought he was dropping them for Jesse. But that wasn't true at all. No one could replace them. Just like we know that another cat could never replace me. No one could replace you, Aunt Gara. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a rooster. Hmm, you got that right. <laughs>